Hi, my name is François Simon, a sales manager at ATR Soft. In today's webinar, we will have a look at the property propagator for enterprise PDM. Initially, the add-in was developed to allow its users to easily batch write the same property value into the data cards of files that were added to the vault. It was then extended to support different files operation inside the vault. The add-in allows you to easily access the data card of multiple files at once and propagate property value to the data cards of the selected documents. For example, when files are added or copied into the vault. To use that add-in, you can rather right-click on the selection of files for which you would like to propagate property values, or then the EPDM data card can automatically pop up during specific operations. The add-in can be configured based on your EPDM data card so that each of them can be used by the add-in. There are four different use cases where you can use that add-in. The first one is when adding files to your EPDM vault. You are able to define values to the files that are going to be added during the same operation and automate the check-in. Then, if you want to move or copy existing files inside your enterprise PDM vault, the add-in will automatically pop up and you can access the different data cards of the files that you want to copy or move. The third case is by right-clicking on selection of files directly from your EPDM vault. The last use case is from the EPDM search results. This could be really useful if you need to search for files based on some specific property values. For example, if you want to replace or update an existing property value with a new one. OK, let's get into a live demo and see how we can propagate property value to your EPDM data card. Let's start by having a look at the first case when files are added to the vault. For example, I will copy the folder called Project Information, which contains Microsoft Office documents and a PDF files into my vault. I will copy the folder, then open my vault and paste it here. As we can see here, we have the EPDM data card defined for Microsoft Office document that automatically pops up. Then the users can, for example, define the property values that he wants. So, for example, here I'm going to add a project name as well as a project number. I also have the possibility to check in the files afterwards by selecting that checkbox and adding a checking command. For example, adding project information. On the right side of the window, we can see which files will be affected by the changes. I will click OK. Now we have the EPDM data card defined for PDF documents that automatically pop up. And I will define a project name as well as a project number. The files have now been added to my vault. And as we can see here, they are checked in. We could also check the data card to ensure that the project name and the project number have probably been written for all the documents that I have added, as well as for the PDF files. We can now check the second use case where files are moved and copied inside the vault. So first, let's have a look at the move. For example, I could select those two PDF files and then drag them into the folders that I have just created. Once again, the EPDM data card for PDF files automatically appears. I could add a checking command, for example, moving files to the right folder. If I copy files using the Windows Explorer inside the vault, or if I use the copy tree, then the add-in is working similarly. I can use the copy tree, for example, to copy that assembly. So we'll just create a subfolder here called copy and I'm go now going to copy those files. So now here we have the EPDM data card defined for assemblies and I can just here define for example a project name and define that it's a copy. I will do the same for the parts.
and all the files have been copied and the data cards have been updated for all the documents accordingly. As we have just seen, the property propagator for EPDM can be called automatically during specific EPDM actions, for example when files are added, copied or moved into the vault. But you also have the possibility to select files directly from the vault and access the data card via right-click by selecting the Show Card option. For example, here I'm going to select all those SOLIDWORKS files, right-click, and here I can click on the Show Card. And here I have the uh, data card for assemblies, where I could make some modifications. I could do exactly the same for the drawings or for the parts. Last but not least, the add-in can also be used from the EPDM search results. Let's open the EPDM search and search for all the files where the property for vendor is custom tools, as I would like to replace it with a different name. From the search result, I can select all the files then once again do a right click and show the card for the selected files. So here I could add a new vendor, for example I want to call it 8 years soft. So here I'm modifying now the data card for assemblies. Now I can modify it also for the drawings. And finally, for the parts. So now we have seen how we can update the data card from the search results. So let's get back to the presentation. Let's have a closer look at how the add-in is working. Here we have the setting dialog of the adding defined in SOLIDWORKS Enterprise Administration. The property propagator for EPDM uses the EPDM data cards that you have defined. You are able to configure any of the, your EPDM data cards to be used by the add-in. As we have seen earlier, the add-in is able to access different EPDM data cards during the same operations. For example, here I have configured the add-in to be used with the Office, PDF, Assembly, Drawing and Part data card. For each data card, you are able to control which variables can be modified or not by the EPDM users, as you probably do not want any EPDM users to be able to modify all the variables defined in the data card. Here, the users are only able to modify the author, project name and project number. For each data card, you are able to define if the data card will be loaded automatically when files are added, moved or copied into the vault, or if the data card can only be accessed via a right-click only. In addition, specific folders can be excluded so that you can prevent the users from modifying files located in specific folders. There are different ways where this add-in could use your metadata management inside APDM. First of all, as we have seen in this demo, this tool allows you to quickly and easily add or modify values in the EPDM data card of multiple files at once, allowing you to manage your files with more consistency and significantly reduce errors. The add-in handles checking and checkout operations for you. If documents are added or copied into the vault, then you have the possibility to automate the checking of those files. You also have the possibility to define checking comments that will be propagated to the files that have been modified by the add-in. All the changes are also tracked in the EPDM file history. That is all I had to show for you today. I hope that you got inspired. If you are interested in trying that adding, a demo is available on our website. Thank you all for attending this webinar and I hope to see you all for the next one scheduled on December 10th at the same time as today. We'll be looking at batch printing your assemblies with custom tools. Thank you and have a nice day.